And as I was writing my book, you see, I thought, well, I don't really know anything about neurophysiology. What am I doing writing this book? So I started reading up about neurophysiology. And I read up and I think, I'm trying to find out how it is that nerve signals could possibly preserve quantum coherence. And all I read is that the electrical signals which go along the nerves create um, effects through the brain. There's no chance you can isolate it. So that this is hopeless. So I come to the end of the book and I more or less give up. I just think of something which I didn't believe in. And what do you do when you're doing that? What do general anesthetic gases do? And see, he formed the view that it's the microtubules that they affect. And the details of, of why he formed that view is not all the clever clear to me, but there but there's an interesting story he keeps talking about. But I've found this very exciting because I thought these structures, these little tubes, which inhabit pretty well all cells, it's not just neurons. Uh, apart from red blood cells, red blood cells, they inhabit pretty well all the other cells in the body. But they're not all the same kind. You get different kinds of microtubules.